we had a very frank conversation with each other and we said, you know, are we really going to do this or are we going to spend the rest of our life wondering, you know, what if? Hi, I'm Catherine. And I'm Sophie and we're sisters and the founders of Georgetown Cupcake. But my background was in fashion. And mine was in venture capital. I was an investment team of the Buy and Supply Sciences Group at Highland Capital Partners. Catherine worked for Gucci in the fashion industry, and we were happy in our careers. But at the same time, we still kept talking and talking about this dream. We had this passion for baking, and you know, we were too afraid to act on it. When you're happy with where you are, and you know, you have a very stable and secure position, to give that up for something very, very uncertain and unknown is very frightening. Our family's from Greece, and so they were not too pleased with us when they found out we wanted to start a bakery. I remember our father said, people in our country are trying to get out of the bakery. And you guys, they go into business, and you guys are going backwards. Nobody in my family could believe it. Even our relatives, you know, were saying, you know, no, <laughs> you know, you're kidding. It would have been very easy for us just to say, you know what, it's not going to work. Let's not take this risk. And instead, when we heard people say no, it made us only more determined to find a solution. They felt that if, if even if they didn't make it, they, at least they tried. When we decided to start Georgetown Cupcake, we wanted to use our grandmother's recipes because we had this great base of recipes that she used for her cakes. And we wanted to make our cupcakes gourmet. We wanted to use the very best ingredients and bake from scratch every single day. We ended up having to max out all of our personal credit cards and use up our life savings, which, which is not a conventional way to start a business. We didn't raise money from our family and friends. We wanted to do it on our own terms so that if we failed, it, we would just be beholden to ourselves and no one else. Our first day we opened, we really didn't think anybody would show up. We had done no marketing, no advertising, other the, than, a, poster other than a small poster that Sophia printed out at a local Kinko's shop um, and we put it in the window probably a day before we opened. And we had this line on Valentine's Day. And you know, we sold out of cupcakes um, early in the afternoon, had a shutdown, rebake, reopen, and it was like a whirlwind day. We changed our business model basically the first day we opened. We thought we were going to be this quiet bakery. People would call in their orders, pick them up, and you know that would be that. But what we found was people wanted to come in and get their cupcakes then and there as walk-ins. Our mother actually came to help out for the opening weekend, but she ended up staying forever. In hindsight, it was, I think it's the best move they ever made. I would say from day one, I was sort of the night and weekend guy. I would come home after work and I would help them with whatever they needed. On paper, I guess, you know, I'm the CEO of the business, but it's really that Sophie and Catherine who are the creative forces behind the business. But the silver lining um, with that is that we get to spend all our time together as a family. You know, we used to work crazy hours before at our other jobs and we really never saw each other until the weekends, but now, you know, we work these crazy hours, but at least we're together. If I could frost all day, every day, that would be my dream. You know, if you had asked us when we first started, you know, did we plan on having, you know, six locations and ship nationwide and a TV show? Probably, no, we would not, we didn't. We thought it would just be the two of us, you know, read the magazines, drink some coffees, bake some cupcakes, have a very quiet neighborhood bakery. We are very hands-on, in the weeds, um, at all of our stores and managing these kinds of things, but it's what makes Georgetown Cupcake a success.